so you're saying I can ask this cat any question? The cat is connected to the computer. You just type in the question, it will read his mind. There the answer comes. You're the man! I've been looking for this for weeks. We're given f of x and g of x and asked to determine the following composite function values. In this lesson, we'll discuss how we can use the TID4 graphing calculator to determine these composite function values. We'll begin by entering f of x on the calculator as y sub one and g of x as y sub two. It's important that we know which function is which. So we'll press y equals and again y sub one is going to be five-eighths, which I'll put in parentheses, times x minus five, enter, and y sub two will be g of x, which is three x to the second, minus two x plus seven. Now we'll go back to the home screen by pressing second mode for quit. Looking at our first composition of functions, notice how it's written two ways. These are the two most common ways to express a composition of functions. In both cases we say f of g of two. But I think the second notation here is a little easier to work with because it's easier to see which function would be the inner function. Notice here the output of g of two will become the input into function f. But in our case, because we're using the calculator, this will be equivalent to y sub one of y sub two of two. Remember, f of x is equal to y sub one and g of x is equal to y sub two. And now we'll go to the calculator to enter this. So we're gonna press vars, right arrow, enter. Notice how y sub one is already highlighted, so we'll press enter. Open parenthesis. Now we wanna select y sub two, so we'll press vars, right arrow, enter. Go down to number two, press enter. Another open parenthesis, the input of two, and now we have two closed parentheses. And now we can just press enter. This would be the composite function value, but to convert this to a fraction, we press math, enter, enter. So this composite function value is equal to 35 eighths. Next we have g of f of four, and again, we can't forget that f of x equals y sub one and g of x equals y sub two. So here we would have y sub two of y sub one of four. It is important that we pay close attention to the order of composition. Notice here y sub two or g of x is the outer function and y sub one or f of x is the inner function. So going back to the calculator, vars, right arrow, enter, y sub two, so arrow down once, enter, open parenthesis. Now we want y sub one, so vars, right arrow, enter, y sub one is already highlighted, so we press enter, open parenthesis, the input of four, close parenthesis, close parenthesis, and enter. We want the fraction value of this, so we press math, enter, enter, 123 fourths. So the composite function value is 123 fourths. Next we have f of g of one half, which would be y sub one of y sub two of one half. So vars, right arrow, enter, y sub one is already highlighted, enter. Open parenthesis, now we want y sub two, vars, right arrow, enter, select y sub two. Open parenthesis, one half, as one divided by two, close parenthesis, close parenthesis, and enter. To convert to a fraction, we press math, enter, enter. Negative 25 over 32 would be the composite function value. And for our last example, 
we have f of f of two thirds, which would be y sub one of y sub one of two thirds. So one more time, back to the calculator. Vars right arrow, enter, enter for y sub one, open parenthesis, we want y sub one again, so vars right arrow, enter, enter, open parenthesis, the input of two thirds, close parenthesis, close parenthesis, and enter. And one more time, math, enter, enter, to convert to a fraction. Negative 755 over 96. F of F of two thirds equals negative 755 divided by 96. I hope you found this helpful.